Today we are going to learn how to create new repository in Bitbucket, cloning the repository, creating branches, committing, amend commits, reverts and few other important Git concepts. Let's get started. Open the browser, click on bitbucket.org, login. If you already have an account, sign in with your account. If you don't have, click on sign up and create a new account. Once you log in, you are going to see plus mark in the left hand corner, click on that. We are going to create a repository using that. Give any name. Click on create repository. Now we created the repository. Let's also add a readme file. Add some text, not necessary, just to verify later commit it. Once we click on commit, it is going to create a master branch and going to commit these changes to the master branch. We have branches, click on the branches, we have master branch and create branch. We are going to create a new branch called development. Now we are going to use the development branch for all the uh, changes and commits we are going to do. So go to branches, click on merged. Now you can see master and development, both branches created. In the overview, we are going to get the connection setting. So URL will be uh, either SSH or HTTP. Open Eclipse. To clone this repository, any workspace is fine. Once Eclipse is open, we need a window, go to window and uh, type in git, you can find this by window, show view and select git repository and git staging. We also need a history tab, so we are going to add the history the same way, window, show view, other, type in history, select, click on ok. Now we have all three, git repository, staging and history, click on clone git repository at this point we need the url which we see in the overview of bitbucket to select https you can also connect using ssh now i am using https paste the uri and also make sure in the protocol you are going to select https give password as bitbucket password account click next now it is going to pull master and also development branch. Select initial branch as development and also you can uh, click on the checkbox if you are importing any project. Now we don't have any project in repository. Now we successfully cloned the repository to our local workspace. In the branches, you can see local as development and remote tracking as master and development. Because we selected initial branch as development, it created the local development branch. Now we are going to create a new project and share it with the repository. Any project is fine. Now I'm going to create dynamic web project. So as of now, the project is empty. That's not a problem. So right click on the project, go to team and share project. This is going to share the project with the git repository. Select the repository we just cloned and then click finish. At this point we are go we have created the connection between our project and the git repository. Go to staging area, select the project, you will see all the changes. To control A or command A, drag and drop to state the area all the changes, give a commit message. Any commit message will do. Once you give a commit message, click on commit. We have commit and push, we will get to that later. Go to git repository and see the development branch. In front of the development branch you can see the commit message we have to push this to our online branch or bitbucket branch 
Once we have done this, our changes has been moved from our local system to Bitbucket branch. Now you can see a remote tracking branch and our local branch show the same commit message. Go to Bitbucket, verify our changes. Go to commits, you can see all our commits and source will have the project structure in the development branch. Master branch still don't have, that is absolutely fine. Now come back to Eclipse. In order to show the commit of particular file, I'm going to create a package. and a class file. Once we have a class file, I'm going to add two, just two lines of code. And now this file is uh, ready to commit. So go to git staging, drag and drop to state changes, give a commit message. This time we are going to use commit and push. If you use commit and push, it is going to commit into local repository and also going to push it to your online branch directly. Now you can see the development and local and also remote tracking have the same commit message. Now go to Bitbucket, source and uh, we can verify our changes. It created a new class and package and also our changes are reflecting. Now I'm going to show how to amend. So let's add one more line of code. And then I'm going to commit these changes. The same way, go to staging. Then drag and drop to stage changes area and give a commit message. So now we already committed, now I need to add one more line of code. But this line of code I don't want to commit as a new commit. So I need to amend for the previous commit. For this, see for this op, uh, for this icon in the commit message area that is called uh, amend. So if you click on that it will open up the previous commit and allow you to commit your new changes along with the previous commit. So give some new commit message just to distinguish and then drag and drop commit or commit and push. Now if you go to now if you go to history tab and you can see the two commits have been merged to one commit. This is how we are going to amend the commits. So let's verify the code changes. So we have all the code changes we have done just now. Now we have a project structure and code changes. Let's see we are going to remove the code changes. So right click on the commit and go to revert commit. It is going to create one more commit which is called revert and also the commit message of the previous commit. That means the previous commit has been removed. So we are going to push these changes to the remote branch. So this is how we are going to remove the commit which we already made. So now we push the local changes to the online branch. And if you go and check our code. You can see the two lines which we added in third commit has been removed. So this is how we are going to revert or remove the commits which we already made. Now we have all the project and code structure ready. Now we are going to move these code changes to development. Sorry. We are going to move these changes to master branch. So master branch let's verify. Master branch don't have any project structure as of now. Go to pull request and click on create pull request. Make sure 
we are pushing from development to master the left hand side should be the development and we are pushing the changes from development to master the right hand side should be master you can see all the uh, commit messages in the description and you can add reviewers if you are working in a larger team now create pull request if you do not have any merge conflicts it will show a merge icon enabled click on the merge icon click on merge Now go to source, check uh, so master branch already reflected all the code changes. The master is also called as production environment. Only when we are ready, we are going to push changes to this end, this branch. So we have all the changes and we, this is how we are going to do the pull request. Now we are going to see how to replace a file. Select any file which you want to replace. This can be applied on whole project also. Now I am going to select the file and replace with option. There are many options to replace with. Now I am going to show you how to replace with previous commits. I will select the commit. It will show up all the commits. So select any commit you want to replace with and then click OK. Now I am going to select the second commit. So it added the two extra line of code which I added in the second commit. And if you go to staging area, it is going to show our file in state changes as we have changed our file just now. If you want to push, you can give a commit message and push it all the way to online branch. As of now, I'm going to take it back to head revision. So if you select head revision, this is going to revert back all the changes what we have it in our online branch. And as a last note, don't confuse replace and update. Whenever we need a latest from repository, we are going to use team and update not replace and that's all i have in this video thank you